The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside at the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. And so today we finish up with what book? Exodus, yes. Um, and so we're ending really on a high note in the book of Exodus. Um, and actually the days that this takes place is according to scripture is one year following the first Passover. And so we see that they, that Moses and the Israelites are erecting a dwelling place for the Ark of the Covenant to be in. And the glory of the Lord is so strong and so powerful that what? That the, the cloud, the Shekinah, I love to say that word, it's such a cool word to say, shows when God is present there in the Holy of Holies. And so whether it be a cloud by day or even fire at night. And so it's, it's such a high point to end this particular book on because the Israelites did what? They knew that they didn't move when the Lord was there. But when the Lord didn't come to the tent of meeting, that's when they would continue on in their journey. And so it was very much like this first very, very quintessential, very essential GPS, but it was led by the Spirit of the Lord. And I think it's important for us to realize that and see that and to ask that question of ourselves. Do we allow the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, to guide us and to lead us in our lives? You know, that's something that we should all ask. And maybe you're like, you know, I'm, I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure about this. What, what does that mean to be led by the Holy Spirit. You know, first we have to know the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and to lead us. You know, oftentimes as I'm praying, preparing for a homily, as I'm getting to come, ready to come over here during Mass to proclaim the Gospel, one of the things that I do is I pray the Come Holy Spirit prayer, uh, which is such a beautiful prayer and something that we should really strive to pray each and every day. Come Holy Spirit. You know, just within those little moments in our lives when we, when we need the Holy Spirit to be with us, to guide us and lead us. You know, just like the Israelites who would stay, we need to know when we need to calm the heck down, right? Because sometimes things might be going a little crazy in our lives and we want to be a little, uh, come off a little crass, come off a little, a little strong. We need to pray that come Holy Spirit prayer and ask the Lord, Lord, give me some peace right here where I need some peace in my life so that I can truly be open to doing your will. Flipping over into our gospel today. Today we celebrate uh, St. Martha. And you know, the thing is, Martha gets a bad rap. Because why? Because Martha, I think there's a little bit of Martha in all of us. Would you agree? Because the reality is, if we didn't have Martha's, nothing would ever get done. If we just had a world full of Marys, Mary Adele, you're shaking your head. You're like, I get it. If you, we had a world full of Marys, nothing would ever get done because we just want to sit and, and pray at the feet of Jesus. Now, the reality is this, though. Within our spiritual lives, it takes both Martha and Mary. We have to get things done but we also, brothers and sisters, we got to take that time. We got to sit there at the feet of Jesus. We have to sit at the, in the quietness of our Lord and allow him to lead us. We can do all the things that keep us busy, all these things in ministry. But the reality is, if we don't take that time to pray, 
that silent time. It's all in vain. It's for nothing. And so today, Martha is a reminder for us as we celebrate St. Martha, the reminder that we have to try to strive to be, to live a life of balance. You know, balance is one of those things that I don't know if we're ever going to particularly um, master, but we continue to struggle with it, right? There are some times when we do much better with one thing versus the other. And so I want to encourage you today to particularly, as we lead this Mass, as we prepare to receive our Lord Jesus Christ in the Eucharist this morning, to ask the Lord to give us those moments, Lord, in our lives where we know that we can truly perfect living out what you have called us to be through Martha, what you have called us to be through Mary. Lord, may all the work that we do, may we take that time, that quiet time to be with you, that quiet time to set at your feet, that quiet time to open the scripture and dwell upon your word. Lord, if we don't take that time, all of the work that we do, it's done in vain. And so, Lord, we ask you in a very special way to help us to continue to grow in that way. Lord, help us to be open to the Holy Spirit in our lives, to be open and prompted by the Holy Spirit. May we strive each and every day to truly live our lives in a way that gives glory to you. And we can only do that, Lord, when we open ourselves up to the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we thank you so much for this day. We ask that you be with us, each and every one of us, in a very real way. We ask all of this, Lord, in your most holy and sacred name.